So we got another unboxing video here. This is an Automare, which was a sister company to Airmaster. Um, I got this from a friend who works for a Airmaster distributor, and I guess they had this sitting around. Theoretically new in box. Um, <clears throat> my friend said that Automare was originally their more residential line, so this would have been marketed as a residential fan. So let's take a look what we got in here. I uh, wrapped the blades in paper because there were not any packing materials in the box really. They look almost identical to the blades on the uh, contacts and the can arm, so seems like the same OEM there. And now for the motor. Heavy! Alright. Is it a possibility that that's iron? That's awfully heavy to be aluminum. I'll have to get a magnet on it. Get a magnet on those two and see if they're steel. Okay, it's got the mounting bracket the same as the British ones. So that must have been a thing that they did. These canopies are plastic. And look at this weird hook thing here. Never seen that before. Bottom is a uh, safery. And uh, the box here has D, excuse me, B36 black crossed out and then D36 written on it. And also a price of 33.33. But on the fan, model number listed. Excuse me, canopies. Is can you see it? It's B is in boy 36, not D. So. It's a little bit confusing to rate it at. Um, so it doesn't have an amperage rating. It says 43 watts. Fan motor number B100 for use with fan models B36, B48, and B56. Watts at mean volts is 43 watts for the 36 inch, 62 watts for the 48 inch, and 78 watts for the 56 inch. Which Leads me to believe that they changed the capacitor value and used the same motor. This has got a 4 microfarad capacitor in it. And uh, 43 watts would mean uh, less than um, less than 0.4 amps. So like 0.38 amps or somewhere around there. So I might eventually play with it and change the capacitor values and try to get the uh, 78 watts, which would be point about point six and a half amps or so so I wonder now did all of the air masters that had this type of motor have plastic canopies or did some have metal because I've certainly never seen plastic canopies on a new tone so that's very different to me um, like I said a lot of things about this are weird that's weird those little blades are weird although we have seen the little short straight bladed version before and uh, I'll have to check and see what the motor is uh, made of because, like I said, that's pretty heavy. So um, we're going to hang it up and test it with some controls and do a fun video. So uh, hope you're looking forward to that. And we'll keep going. Hey guys, this is the last of my videos of uh, things that I brought back from my Indiana trip. Um, I have a friend that works at an uh, Airmaster distributor and uh, their sister company is and was Automair and um, my friend had somehow found this uh, new in-box Automair and uh, I got it from him and you can see the box there has got the British made Relight version pictured but in the box is the safer version and uh, 36 inch uh, straight aluminum blades, cast aluminum motor. The canopies are both plastic, which is odd to me. All of the uh, new tone versions and the steel motored Airmaster versions all uh, have metal canopies. 
but um, this is plastic canopies, which I've never seen before. At least I've never known that they were plastic if I've seen them before, so that's kind of odd to me. Um, <clears throat> the same motor was used for um, all three sizes, but it appears they changed the capacitor value because there's different wattage ratings for all three sizes. Um, this is the uh, <clears throat> model B36. The box says D36, but the motor says B36 and also B100. And um, it's uh, rated for 36 inch for 43 watts, which works out to being around 0.38 amps. Um, so we'll find out where we are on there. I can tell just by putting it up that the bearings are a little stiff, but it is new in box, so it could just be that it needs to run some. Um, I didn't want to mess with it, add any oil or anything like that under those circumstances. So we got it with the four-speed control, and let's uh, let's give it a try on low with the four-speed control, 0.26 amps, and nice and slow for a 36-inch. Oh, it's, is it stalling out? Wasn't expecting that. I guess that's the stiff bearings. Let's give it a little push. Let's go up to the next and come back down. Point two six. A mark on there. Just a shadow. Let's drop the control. Let's see if it stalls out again. If it does, then we'll come back to it at the end after it's had a chance to run on high for a while and see if that makes a difference. Because again, like I said, the bearings are a little stiff. I guess so. I guess that uh, at least right now, the 5 microfarad low speed is too much. Let's go to medium low, which is 10.53. So we're already higher than the rated amperage. wonder if that's a resonant frequency or if it's just a coincidence. Okay, we're down to 0.46 now. Medium high. Back to 0.56. I'm feeling some air from it. And then high. Okay, so no resonant frequencies, just very... It's got that kind of weird whine to it that you hear sometimes. I haven't heard that from one of these type of motors before, so that's interesting. I've been asked to not neglect my airflow test, so... Even with a small fan like this. It's not super impressive under the fan, as I would have hoped. I did feel more air sitting there than I expected to. I don't think I'm going to feel anything back here the way I would with a 56 inch curved blade industrial, but we'll give it a shot. I, I mean, I feel air moving, but all my heaters and fans are still on because it's so cold. I can't afford to turn them off. You know what? We'll turn them off. We'll, we'll, we'll see, just because I got asked to do that. So that one's off. That one's off. That one's off. That one's off. I doubt that's going to make much difference, but we'll turn it off anyways. And we'll shut the door to reduce the draft from down there, even though that hopefully was a nice draft of heat coming up. Yeah, I can't feel anything. The little breeze that I felt before is gone, so that must have been from the fans and heaters. Clearly there's something happening because that's blowing. That's blowing, but I don't feel anything right here. But because I was asked to, I tried it, so let's turn everything back on again. Wonder fan back on. Heater one back on. Heater two back on. The blender fans and the Enviro fan here keep some of the heat from escaping through the ceiling. They really do make a tremendous difference in that. So.
And I'm going to turn it down to low. See if it still stalls out. We're at 0.59, by the way. Which is, like I said, still more than it would have been rated for. The plastic upper canopy definitely has a distinctively different shape than the metal ones do. The lower one is the same except for the collar. But it is interesting. I wonder if all of the uh, cast motor air masters have plastic canopies that I just didn't notice before. Or if only certain ones, and if so, why? I really don't care for this combination. The blades look so out of place on that motor to me, but it's just weird enough that I'm glad I have it. I really want to see what other combinations they sold and get my hands on some of them. Seems like it's going to stall out. It's hard to say though because the bearings being stiff, it's surprised it would spin down this long with the bearings being stiff. So maybe this is what we get. This is our low speed. If it can do this without stalling out, then that's a cool low speed. It eventually gave out. Okay, well we got some more controls to try. I, I was just going to do the 4-speed and the uh, infinitely variable, but because the 4-speed didn't go so hot, I guess I will try the 5 and maybe the uh, commercial 4-speed. So let's um, try not to keep dropping things when I switch them, because that always happens. <clears throat> I need to engineer some form of camera stand for here like I had at the other shop, which is really just a, a Tupperware full of light bulbs, but it does the job. So, come on. Okay. The lowest setting, 0.8, let's nudge it up. It's going to be a while before we get there, because with the other control, 0.26 wasn't, oh, what? wait, 0.27, and we're going. Let's take it back down to like 0 0.25, 0 0.24, and see if it stops. funny, the low speed, uh, the amp meter is so helpful in finding the low speed sweet spot or setting the low speed trim, I don't know how I got on without it. That's 0.24 and that's around where it was with the control and it stalled out, so let's bump it up to 0.25. Okay. So that's our low speed. There's a little bit of buzz from it. We'll see how noisy it is as we move up. Let's go in eighth. Eighth takes us to 0.34. It's buzzy, but not bad. Just slightly buzzy, I guess. The fluorescent light to my right is buzzier than it is. Okay, let's go another eighth, which takes us to point four. So we're going up by tenths, pretty much. Sure. Yeah, it's pretty silent. We're already pretty close to high here at the point. We're at point three nine. Let's go another eighth. Takes to point four five. Funny how it drops back down after it gets up to speed. It's trying to get to synchronous speed, I guess. Another eighth takes us to high, which is 0.57. There's got to be somewhere that I can set this and let it spin down while I hook up with another control. Did I try the ladder last time? Did I try that?
interesting how much quicker the spin down time is when you're not going from high to low and even if it's a stalling low speed. Hey, the, um, my phone died in the middle of the last video, so this is, um, starting over. I figured I was going to try some more controls. Also, uh, somebody had asked me about the lighting in my video, so for the second half of the video here, I have all of the overhead lights turned off. So you can see just what with the uh, side lighting is. And I'll do a video later to show what all that is. Uh, provided my phone battery doesn't die too many more times. So we're trying it here with the 4-speed control with the 8 microfarad for low, 8, 12, 20. So let's put it low, 0.41, quite a bit faster on low than it was with the other control. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit going on on low here. That's working its way up the high. Only a 0.38. I might try the other control again on low to see if now that it's run some, if the uh, bearings are freer enough for it to work with the 5, 10, 15 on the 5. Okay, so that's. Let's go medium low really close to high, medium high, and then high. So very little difference in speeds with that control. That's kind of what I figured. That's why I wasn't planning on testing it initially. Okay, let's let that spin down. I'm going to try to switch controls while it spins down, hopefully without my phone dying or without camera work being too egregious. Whoops, got off the fan there, sorry. <clears throat> I'm not a good cameraman. I just take videos of fans because people want to see them. It's not my skill set. Fixing fans is I'm pretty good at that. Okay, this is low five-speed control. Seems like this 5-speed control might do okay here. It's not a bad low speed. Medium. 0.38. Not medium, what am I? I'm tired. 5, speed 5, 4, which would be medium low. <coughs> 3, which would be a solid medium. And I feel air when I'm sitting here. I don't when I was in the spot, but I do here. Okay, medium high. And high. So that's a better range. Than with the uh, it's a better range than with the uh, four-speed slider, and uh, I'm gonna get I put it away over here, but I'm gonna get it out again. The uh, uh, infamous. Four speed Fasco control that I use for everything. And we'll hook that up and we'll see if now that it's had a chance to run, if the bearings have freed up enough that, uh, that it will start at low. Sorry about that, I almost lost you there. Okay, we are on low and we are still not starting. So, apparently there's a sweet spot between 5 microfarads and 8 microfarads. Let's go see downstairs if I have a, um, if I have a, a 6, 8, 
14 control. I had some of those. I don't know if I have any. I'm going to screw the lights back in. here at least at one point oh this what's this yep but it's not wired up to a cord you can wire it to a cord though in place of the uh, 812 it's funny I'll just have to find somewhere to set the phone hope you're looking up at the fan. If you're not, I apologize. But, uh, my intent is for you to be looking up at the fan. See, fan, control, and that's with the 6 microfarad, and it's still, nope, I moved over here, and that it decided to finally start. Don't know what inspired it to change, but uh, I guess this, this, we're still dealing with stiff bearings, 0.27. Let's take it to... Medium low, 0.4, medium high, how is medium high and medium low both 0.4? Switching back and forth here, wait, I started high, drop it down, Drop it down again. Okay, so this is not a bad range of speeds here. And then to low. Let it spin down to low. Meanwhile, the uh, overhead lights are gradually warming up. And they're still a fraction of full brightness. Yeah, I'll need to come back to this someday once I've had it, you know, if I ever install it, I'll let the bearings loosen up. They say any new fan should be run on high for 24 hours before you can consider the bearings broken in. So that's low. Okay, I'm going to turn it back to high so we can spin it down, because spin downs are important here.
Okay. Yeah, it still seems very stiff. That spin down time is still pretty brief. Thanks for watching.